looked up at day five. I'm not really doing anything today. I'm just gonna relax and stuff, but I think maybe me and Adam are gonna go on a bike ride this evening, uh, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna get ready just in case. So I figured today's video is literally just gonna be a get ready with me. I just had a shower, uh, obviously. I really wish I would have brought my like spray that I use on my hair um, that like makes it not tangled. I feel like I definitely forced Adam into buying a hairdryer because he didn't have one. Do you want to go has for a hairdryer? And he's like, uh, no, I need one anyway. And then he bought a hairdryer. I don't know. I feel like I forced him into buying one. I'm just using my Olaplex uh, Bond Smoother. I use this every single time I wash my hair, whether I'm drying it or not. I just use this much, which does cover all of my hair. I'm going to dry my hair and then I'll be back and we'll do my makeup. And oh, we should you know what? Before I dry my hair, I'm going to pick my outfit. What do we want to wear today? I think I want to wear this like crochet jumper. Oh, yeah, I might wear this like white crop top and my brown jeans. Is that cute? That is cute. Just gonna dry my hair, BRB. I put a jumper on just while I get ready and stuff, like do my makeup and things. I have never been one of the people that is like, oh, a hairdryer is important. Like the type of hairdryer you have really affects the way your hair dries. I've always thought that that was a lot of bull. Like I just did not believe that at all until I've just used Adam's hairdryer. Look how smooth my hair looks. Like it doesn't normally look, like I haven't straightened it hella smoother than it usually does. So I do actually think that maybe the hairdryer matters. Am I, have I changed? Am I a changed person now? <laughs> the lighting from this angle is so much better than where I actually need the light, like my camera to be, because the mirror is here. So I have my little, my little makeup travel bag. I got this off of Amazon for like a fiver, just so that my makeup wouldn't get all like damaged in my travel bag. I'm not sure what kind of look I'm going for. I also brought my, her dye so I can do my hair again. I'm gonna use my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I only use I only use this as concealer. I don't really wear foundation all over my face unless I'm like going out out. And even then it kind of hit miss whether I can be bothered. So I just around my eyes and tap it in. Just tap it in. Does anyone know what that reference is from? While I'm doing my makeup, maybe I'll tell you a story about how I nearly killed a dog yesterday. If you watched my vlog tour yesterday, you'll know that I got a bike. I don't know how to ride a bike, well I do know, kind of. Mm. So we went and picked up my bike yesterday and we did a little test run on this like really huge pavement where there was no people about and attempted to like learn how to ride a bike like five ten minutes we were there not too long it's relatively easy to ride a bike i think i did ride a bike a couple of times when i was younger then i just never did again so i just assumed i didn't know how to ride a bike anyway i was just off uh we went into the road on the like bike lane and we was just like riding our bikes i don't know how to keep the bike straight and you know what's so weird because i have this exact issue when i'm driving i think maybe i've got like coordination issues or something like i don't know what central is so like i'm trying to ride the bike and like adam's like stay right stay right and i'm like i'm trying and the bike just keeps like steering left or going like too much right and i can't stay in the middle <laughs> and the bike like wobbles like i can't like keep it i'm just like constantly like this and it's really scary and i think that's just because i'm not an experienced bike rider so i'm assuming that i will get better with time so uh, we were in the road and we were riding down this bike and um, riding down this bike lane and at the side here we were driving past riding past and a dog ran out in front of adam and like not into the road but just like run out and the woman grabbed the dog and then she like let the dog go for some reason and i was quite far behind him and as i've like got on the dog was on the on like near the park in the pavement and this dog just ran into my bike and i was oh my goodness i cried because i felt so guilty i felt horrendous this dog just like it honestly like fucking flash like it came out of nowhere like i do not understand 
where this dog got his lightning speed from, but it just whoosh, into my bike. The guilt I felt, I like immediately stopped the bike. I turned and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Is he okay? Is he okay? And this woman just looking at me as if I'm just like, as if it was my fault. And it like most certainly was not my fault. I didn't reassure really me that it wasn't my fault because I genuinely didn't think that it was my fault. And I was like, is the dog okay? Is the dog okay? I'm so, so sorry. And she was like, yeah, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. And then they walked off and I just turned and I just cried. I just stood there completely stunned. Adam was like walking over to me and he was like, are you okay? Are you okay? What's going on? Are you okay? And I was just like, he was like, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Like they should have had the dog on the lead. They know that this is a bike path. Like they shouldn't have had the dog there. Oh my goodness. Then the entire bike ride home, there was like an extra like 20 minutes left on this like bike ride. Oh my God, I was in silence. I didn't speak a single word. I, I was just like laser focused on it. I just want to get back. I don't even, I just want to get back. Oh my goodness, I just nearly killed a dog. I just nearly killed, I just nearly killed a dog. This little black, scruffy looking, cute, just, I just almost killed it. I didn't, like, Adam was like, he didn't even yelp. Like, I don't think I actually, like, hit it. I think it just ran in to the side of my wheel. But yeah, after we got home, I literally just sat on the bed and cried for like 10 minutes. I was like, don't touch me, don't speak to me. Like, just leave me alone. So Adam started, like, he had a shower and stuff and got ready and I just was like, trying to like, process what just happened but it was terrible it's i don't want to go back out on the bike but i have to today i'm gonna to go and get a bike like phone mount so that i can talk and film while i'm riding the bike it'll be really cool when we go out and do like bike rides around and them and stuff when i get over my fear of killing dogs i'm scared now that i'm gonna like run a dog over or a human being i'm more scared about running a dog over to be honest because a human can just like i don't feel like a human being is gonna run and jump in front of a bike where the dog is just like zoom. that's my base done so i just literally use the foundation as concealer a bit of blusher and like a translucent setting powder because i actually don't know why i use that i don't have anything to set i just like the way that it feels on my skin is what i use for my eyebrows i get asked all the time how to do my eyebrows because they look really good but i don't think they look like, I'm, like, amazing. I'm not a makeup artist by any means. And I literally just use pink eyeshadow. I don't use anything else. So I'm going to see if I can try and show you, like, if you can see it properly or not. I'm not sure if you can actually be able to see it. I'm talking so fast. I'm so sorry. But I start at my tail and then, like, work my way inwards. And I just fill it in. And I go a little bit above where my actual hair is. And just bring it round. And then I'll like pinch it just to get any excess off and like neaten up my tail. That's it. Like that's, that's literally it. <laughs> I wish I had some like really cool technique on how I do them, but I don't. And I don't think they look relatively done or like put together. I think it's just because they're pink, they stand out and they don't have to look natural because they're literally pink. So I don't need to worry about like making it all like blend seamlessly and stuff like that because it's not like that's not the look I'm going for so it doesn't really matter. Also my nails are a mess. I need to get some nail varnish so I can like paint them again. And that's it. Eyebrow done. Look for the next one. This eyebrow always looks better than this one as well. I think this one's just a nicer eyebrow shape. I go to this girl called Jade and she does my eyebrows and she usually, I get like HD brows so I get them like tinted as well as like shaped but I'm going to stop going for the tinting and just go for the shaping because obviously I don't want them dark dark because I've tried doing them pink now but she's amazing. I'll link her below if anyone is in like the Averton Lee area. Um, you can like check her out because she's really really cool. I was like one of her first clients, not like not her first but like in the group of the first few that she was doing and I like the way the amount of improvement in such a short space of time is insane and I honestly would not go to anybody else for my eyebrows done now like I honestly trust her with my eyebrows more than I would trust like myself on a bike near dogs but no she's amazing and she's such a lovely person as well and like really fun to talk to and I'd probably consider her a friend more so than I would just an eyebrow lady you know right this next bit is completely optional but I use my eyebrow gel to set them, but I'm like really, really running out. I need to get some more. Honestly, I think hairspray works better, but I also don't have any of that. Just get like a spur wand and hairspray or gel. Hairspray, like actual like hair gel works, I think, better than stuff that's made for eyebrows. 
Adam's got hairspray and gel, but I don't really want to use his stuff while he's not here because I haven't asked. Like, I know that he wouldn't mind, but still. I just think it's disrespectful to use people's things without permission. And then, eyebrows done. I'll show you in the actual better light. See how much better this lighting is? But I think, I think they're cool. Uh, what colour eyeliner are we going to go with today? Shall I just do plain black or shall I do a colour? Maybe a green. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to like draw my liner and then I'm going to like go over it with an actual green. Or maybe I'll go over it with a brown. I don't know yet. Or maybe a white. Oh, maybe that would look cool. So there's my like first wing. And then do it in the corner. There we go. That's one done. And then... I'm not going to do the same on the other eye. So this is the green that I was going to line it with, like outline. But I don't know if I actually quite like just this and then maybe white. I do this all the time. Like I never know what I'm going to do and then I do it. I'm like, mm, yeah, okay, that's cool. Even though most of the time it isn't cool. I'm probably going to skip this process just because it's very, very boring. And I'm like really in silence and I'm like concentrating. And then once I've done both wings, I just underline, underline. I do my... my bottom line in white and then I'm gonna do a white eyeliner as mascara on the bottom and then black on the top and for that I just use my NYX white eyeliner Ta -da! and then for lips I just use my bitch sticks which is just like a chapstick I got from America it's like pink watermelon tastes really good I will use my NYX. This is Milky Gloss, which is in Lilac. It's very, very light, but I really like it. And then the highlighter, I just, again, in my James Charles palette, use this and then the white mixed together. And then that's my makeup done. Made to get dressed. Oh. I hate when this happens. And then I've just got, like plain white socks on to match my white top and then I'm gonna wear this cute little cropped crochet jumper it's not really a jumper is it because it's cropped crochet sleeves with the neck I think that'll be really cute I might tie my hair up because I've got this bubble that I think kind of like goes either a ponytail or a bun I'm not too sure ignore like this washing let me move this okay the outfit. I think it looks really super cute. I could wear my beret if I didn't want to tie my hair up. I think that might be quite adorable. Do we like the beret or not? And then I'm probably going to wear my docks, I think. But yeah, I'm actually just staying in the house for now, so let's tie it up. Maybe half up. I like that, that's adorable. Okay. And we're done. I think that it looks cute. I think it looks cute. But that is me done. I am ready for the day, even though all I'm gonna go and do right now is sit and crochet in the living room and watch maybe Fear Street part two, because I watched part one the other day and it was actually pretty good. I'm waiting for Adam to get back. And then I think we're gonna go to a shop and get a phone mount for me and then then I'm actually not sure what we're doing. But yeah, I hope that this video wasn't so boring. And <laughs> I promise I do have things planned for this month. Like we're going to the Anne Frank House, the Van Gogh Museum. We're going to do bike rides. We're going to go and visit a lot of things, do some sightseeing and stuff. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>